Dylan's always been a special place. It's sort of a secret garden. It's the only preschool with a huge lawn. The grounds are gorgeous. And what it felt like when we walked in was an extension of our home almost. This was a safe, loving environment where children got to be who they are. What we believe is that you don't think about a child as a two-year-old or a three-year-old or a four-year-old or a five-year-old. You think about where he or she is developmentally. The history and understanding of child education. I don't think there's a place that does it better. The Dillon Center was started in 1934. We are um, one of the only lab schools in New York City. This school was created to be a fieldwork site for the child study students. I went to St. Joseph's College as an undergrad, and in the child study program you do hours here, and then when I graduated I became a special ed teacher here. The contact that the St. Joseph's College students are having with these Dillon Center students is so important to their development as early childhood teachers. I like to make learning fun, and I like to make everything magical. They get to let all of their inhibitions out and they can just try anything they'd like to. We try to think about what the kids are talking about in class and think about how we're going to take that and make our lessons around it. I've never experienced a moment in the history of her experience here at Dillon where she hasn't been encouraged to explore a thought or idea. And that is such a powerful experience for a little girl to have. Some people think that play is just something you do when you have nothing else to do, but children learn through their play. We can go across the street to the Hill Center and use the dance studio or use the basketball court. The children want to learn because you're sparking their curiosity. And a child who learns to love learning will always do well in school. We do a lot of mixed age here and I think that that's really important. I love the fact that the children on the older end of the spectrum can feel like leaders and the children on the younger end of the spectrum have role models. We are a school that embraces children with special needs. It promotes an atmosphere of acceptance. I think that it's a spectacular learning environment for all of the children. We try and give them that sense of self-worth, of trust, of curiosity. We love to sing. We love to dance. We love art projects. We do a lot of exercises that are fun, seemingly, but you know they're learning how to spell their name. They're learning how to add and subtract. They're involved, excited, raising their hand, talking about things, sharing thoughts. One has a very well-educated staff who listens and loves. They've been career teachers for decades. They love children. Sister Pat was particularly meaningful to me. I remember having her as a student. I was so happy that my own son is able to be in her class today. It's meant a lot to me. It's an open door policy. You get to check and see what we're doing all day, anytime you want, and your child will tell you, I'm happy. No other school can you come in at any time of the day and watch your child play. We're the only school with observation booths in New York City. When we want parents to give us their feedback, we want that communication. It's a small community of people who are really there to support one another. It's been amazing. We've had a chance to, you know, build relationships and real bonds with other parents. Part of the magic of Dylan is how Dylan shows up for kids, but also how Dylan shows up for families. I tell them every day they're amazing, they're wonderful, because I do, I think that, and I hope that they take that with them. We have the fondest memories of her in school. So Dylan has been a gift. Otis has grown enormously here. I've encouraged him to find his own strengths and his own voice. Dylan is safe, Dylan is family. Dylan is community. Come and see us. And if you get excited by what you see, your child will be excited by what they do and see. It's a great place to be. Every child should experience the Dylan Center.